Today I'm going to read to you Pig's Egg, which is one of my favorite books to read to my class in this beginning of spring. Pig's Egg. Pig loved the farmyard. There was always something going on. Pig loved being a pig too, but sometimes he couldn't help feeling left out. Geese could fly, duck could fly, even hen could fly, but try as he might, Pig just couldn't seem to get the hang of it. Then one spring morning, Pig wanted, went to see Hen. What are you doing, he asked Hen. I'm hatching an egg, said Hen. Just then, the egg cracked and pop, out popped a fluffy chick. You'll have to excuse me, Pig, said Hen. I'm far too busy to talk to you now. Pig went to see Duck. What are you doing, he asked Duck. I'm hatching an egg, said Duck. Just then, the egg cracked and out popped a fluffy duckling. You'll have to excuse me, pig, said Duck. I'm far too busy to talk to you now. Poor pig. Pig went to see Goose. What are you doing, he asked Goose. I'm hatching an egg, said Goose. Just then, the egg cracked and out popped a fluffy gosling. You'll have to excuse me, pig, said Goose. I'm far too busy to talk to you now. Aww. So Pig went back to his sty, feeling even more left out. Pig was just starting to eat his dinner when he spotted something on the ground. It was shaped like an egg. I've laid an egg, cried Pig. He didn't feel left out anymore. Hmm. I wonder, does that look like an egg? Pig carefully looked after his egg. Hen brought her chick to visit Pig. What's that you've got there, Pig? asked Hen. It's my egg, said Pig proudly. Pigs don't lay eggs, said Hen. It looks like a turnip. It's not a turnip, said Pig. It's an egg. Duck brought her duckling to visit Pig. What's that you got there, pig? asked Duck. It's my egg, said Pig. That's not an egg, said Duck. It's a turnip. It's not a turnip, said Pig. It's an egg. Goose brought her gosling to visit Pig. What's that you got there, pig? asked Goose. It's not a turnip, said Pig. It's an egg. But when the egg didn't crack, Pig began to wonder Maybe they're right, thought Pig, sadly. Maybe it is a turnip. Pig sighed. There's only one way to find out. I'll eat it. So Pig opened his mouth wide, but just as he was about to bite into it, he noticed a tiny hole. And the tiny hole got bigger and bigger, and something very small wriggled out of it. My baby, cried Pig with pride. Pig took great care of his baby. He fed it cabbage leaves and it got fatter and fatter. Pig called hen, duck, and goose. Come and see my baby, he said. But when, Pig, when they reached the sty, there was no sign of Pig's baby. Instead, there was a crinkly little green egg. Hen, duck, and goose patted pig. Never mind, they said. The next morning, something very strange happened. As pig lay sighing and staring at the crinkly green egg, it began to crack and out wiggled the most beautiful creature pig had ever seen. It flapped its wings and flew away. Pig jumped up and danced after it. What are you doing, pig, asked hen, duck, and goose. You'll have to excuse me, said pig. I'm far too busy to talk to you now. I'm teaching my baby to fly. 
the end. Happy spring!